Every time I hear the crowds cheering and see fans getting ready for the big show, I try to imagine what it was like for the ball players in the early days. The smell of the food, the feeling of pride between players and fans, and all of the championships they celebrated together. But if Dominican ball players are making such an impact on baseball today, why did it take so long for the pioneers to be recognized? Well, at that time, that was tough for the Dominican players. So as soon as they saw the talent that was in Dominican Republic, they then changed. And then more scouts were coming to Dominican Republic looking for another player like the one that they signed. And that's the reason why Dominican Republic had grew up so much in baseball. What about segregation and the Negro Leagues? They couldn't play with professional teams. They had to play in other countries to be recognized for their great talent. So they created their own leagues and turned exclusion into an industry. I think that a lot of players, there were a lot of players that went to Cuba, Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Mexico, Puerto Rico. That's where, they, where a, a number of Negro League players went and played. And when they went to Cuba, it was really interesting, you'll see in some of those photographs, that some of the players that they played with on the same teams they played with in Cuba played in the Major League. And when they came back to America, the relationship was for the most part over. But not every professional ball player bought into segregation. Some were already barnstorming with the Negro Leagues in the 1920s and 30s before Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in 1947. But they paid a price. It's a shame because my grandfather, one thing he knew was baseball. Inside out, upside down. And he probably could have put some team together and managed it. But Landis knew one thing. Landis knew he was going to put a player of color on the team if he became manager. No doubt about it. He, that's one of the first things he would have done. And Landis knew this and he said, you're not doing it, babe. This is not just a baseball documentary. This is an amazing story of talent, tragedy, and legacy. The Martinez brothers. Follow us support us join our team learn more at martinezbaseballfilms.com